In today's video, I'm going to show you how to improve your Google search engine rankings or your search engine rankings in general. Before we start though, I want to say that nothing, nothing beats having unique, relevant, well-written content. If your content is not unique, you're going to be competing with companies that pay thousands of dollars for SEO, search engine optimization. And with a low budget site like this, you're simply not going to be able to compete with that. There are just too many sites out there that pay a lot of money to have their sites be ranked well in Google. So it's essential, essential. If you want good Google search engine rankings, that your content is unique and well-written and useful. If your content is unique and well-written, you stand a chance of having good Google search rankings. And then the tips I'm going to show you today will help improve your chances even more. So let's get started. Okay. Go ahead and log into your site and go to the dashboard and you'll see right away that we have two updates. I'm going to go ahead and click on updates and see what we have. We have the latest version of WordPress, but these two plugins need updating. So I'm going to click those and I'm going to click update plugins. Okay, that's done. Now, what I'm going to do today is show you how to improve your Google search engine rankings. And the best way to do that is to install a plugin that does a lot of the work for us. So I'm going to go to plugins and click on add new. Then I'm going to search for Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T. I'm going to click search. Now the very first one that'll come up here is WordPress SEO by Yoast. SEO stands for search engine optimization. Let's look at the details of this plugin. You can see that it was updated 19 days ago, that it's been downloaded five and a half million times, and that it gets almost five stars. This is probably a pretty darn good plugin. Okay, let's click install now. And then we will click activate plugin. The first thing that pops up is this help improve WordPress SEO. Uh, please help us improve it by allowing us to gather anonymous usage stats. I'm kind of a privacy geek, so I always don't allow tracking, but if you want to allow tracking to help them improve their plugin, go ahead and click on allow tracking. I'm going to click on do not allow tracking. So if you look over here on the left, you'll see SEO. Go ahead and click that. The first thing you're going to see is this little information box. I'm going to go ahead and click close. So I'm not going to mess with the rest of these settings in here. The only thing I would change is under XML sitemaps here. I would check ping Yahoo and ping ask. Every time you publish new content, uh, the plugin will automatically ping Google and Bing. And with these boxes checked, it will also automatically ping Yahoo and ask, thereby giving you more exposure. So I'd click those and then click save settings. Those are the only changes I'm gonna make right now. So let's show you how the plugin works. I'm gonna go to one of my posts. I'm gonna click on posts and then all posts. And then I'm going to edit this one, the best web host for WordPress, edit. Now, if you look underneath the post, you'll see there's a new box here, WordPress SEO by Yoast. And it wants you to put in a focus keyword. I've already done that. I chose best web host. So best web host. And now down here it tells me article heading, yes. That means I have my keyword, my focus keyword in my article heading. Uh, do I have it in my page title? Yes. Do I have it in my page URL? No. Do I have it in my content? Yes. Somewhere in my content here, I have best web host. I don't know where, but I've only used it once uh, in my content. And then in my meta description, it says, yes, I've used it once, which is wrong actually, because I don't even have a meta description yet. I'm going to write a quick meta description. This, this video will show you, oh look, now it says no in my meta description. Maybe WordPress had an automatically generated meta description, but I'm going to put in my own meta description. This video will show you how to find the best web host. And then I'm going to click update. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and look here. I want all these things to be green and to say yes. I don't want them to say no. So my page URL says no. My keyword best web host has not been found in my page URL. So I'm going to scroll back up and here's my page URL right here where it says permalink. I can edit that. One problem with editing your URL is if your site is established and you have a URL um, that is popular, you don't want to just go around changing it because then people won't find that page again. But since I just started this site, I'm going to go ahead and just change my URL. And I want it to say, I just want it to be simple. The best web host. Yoast will put dashes in between those words for me. And now that's my new URL. 
the best web host. Also, if you have links to pages in your site, your links will break if you do this. So make sure uh, you change your links too that lead to this page. So I scroll back down. It still says no, it's not in my page URL. So I'm going to go back up here and click update. And then I'm gonna scroll back down and look at it and see what it says. And now it says yes. So now the next thing I'm gonna look at here is page analysis. That's gonna give me a little bit more analysis on what I can do to improve my SEO. Look at all this awesome information. It tells me here, red dot, meaning more important. No images appear in this page. Consider adding some as appropriate. Apparently, search engines or Google likes images, so I should consider adding an image to this page. The keyword density, and this is orange, so it's more important than the yellows, is 0.27%, which is a bit low. The keyword was found one time. So I should probably add the search term best web host more times in my page. Um, it tells me that the page title contains 31 characters, which is less than the recommended minimum of 40 characters. Use the space to add keyword variations or create compelling call to action copy. Okay, that means I should maybe make my title a little bit longer. Um, the page title contains the keyword, but it doesn't appear at the beginning. Try to move it to the beginning. The meta description is under 120 characters. However, up to 156 characters are available. So I should make my meta description longer and no subheading tags like an H2 up here in the copy. In other words, I don't have any headings in my text. So I can look at this and say, wow, I can do a couple things to improve my SEO. So I'm gonna go back up and look at my stuff and I'm gonna make some of these changes. But one thing you can see here is that under SEO, I have a little green light. It means your SEO is good. So Yoast considers this page well optimized, but with these tips, I can make my page even more optimized. So I'm gonna do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the page title. It says it contains 31 characters. I'm gonna make it have a few more characters. So I'm gonna change it to the best web host for your WordPress website. How about that? And then under the general tab here, I'm gonna make it match in the SEO title. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to click update and then I will scroll down and look at my page analysis and now I have one less yellow dot. The keyword density is 0.27 which is a bit low. The keyword was found one time. So in my text I would like the keyword phrase best web host to appear more than once. So I'm gonna find a way to do that. So I'm reading through my post here and Here's my second paragraph. You're probably thinking, I don't need to watch a video on how to get a good web host. I could change that to, I don't need to watch a video on how to get the best. So now I again have best web host right here. Some are no frills and they offer great security, blah, blah, blah. That's not a good web host right here. I could say that's not the best web host or that's, how about this? That's definitely not the best web host. That's not the best web host either. I believe I found a good web host. How about this? The best web host. So who is this awesome web host? I'll put in parentheses, the best host. The best, excuse me, web host. Oh, remember that by the way, if you click the link to sign up um, underneath any of my videos and you sign up with this web host, I make a little bit of money. Um, you don't have to obviously, but that would be cool. So there. I've added the term best web host multiple times in the site. Now I'm clicking update. Now I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna check out my page analysis again. We see that the keyword density is 1.61%, which is great. The keyword was found six times. Okay, awesome. But now I have a new red bullet. The keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of the copy. Make sure the topic is clear immediately. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll back up and look. What's interesting is I do have best web host in the first paragraph. And it says here that the keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph. Um, well, it does, it's right here. What's probably happening is that Yoast is uh, tricked because I italicized best. So let's make that not italicized, click update, and then scroll down and look at my page analysis. And that red bullet is now gone. So let's look and see if I can, in my page title, move the keyword to the beginning. I could just get rid of the word the and leave it best web host for your WordPress website and click update. Now my keyword is at the beginning of the title, which is good. So now let's look at my page analysis again. 
and it still says does not appear at the beginning. Why? I'll tell you why because under the general tab here I didn't actually change my SEO title which I need to change. So let's get rid of the word the. Oh, I have the word very here. Whoops. Let's get rid of the word very and click update and then scroll down and look at our page analysis and we see we now only have two yellow dots here and one red dot and the rest are green. So we are doing better. So now I see that my meta description is too short. So let's go back to the general tab here and add some text to our meta description. It tells us right here how many characters we have left. This video will show you how to find the best web host for your WordPress website. Why are they so good? They provide knowledgeable 24 seven customer support. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna click update and then I'm going to scroll down and I'm gonna check out my page analysis again and I now only have one yellow dot and one red dot. So I think you see how this works. You can go through each page on your site and each post on your site and you choose a keyword or a key phrase that you want people to search for. Make sure it's unique like I told you at the beginning of this video. Then go through and check your page analysis and fix all these things and in so doing you will learn a lot about what search engines like and what search engines don't like. This plugin is amazing. Why is it so amazing? It teaches you about SEO and it also does a lot of it for you. So when you're done using this tool and you've updated your site so that your page analysis is good, so that you have all green dots, you'll know a lot more about SEO. Lastly, do I really believe that my page is gonna come up in Google's top 10 or on their first page or even on their first five pages for the search term best web host? Probably not because the search term best web host is used by so many companies and so many people who are doing web host reviews and things like that. So I don't really have any hopes that uh, this page is gonna be high in Google search rankings anytime soon. But I have improved my chances of it being ranked high in Google search rankings. So this goes back to what I said at the beginning. The more unique your content is and the more unique your key phrases are, the better your chances of your site coming up high in Google's search rankings or any other search engines rankings for that matter. The last thing I wanna say is I know the site is looking slightly blah right now. It's, it's not real eye popping or anything. So what I'm gonna show you in the next video is how to install a new theme that's free that has a lot of really cool options that'll spice up this website, boom really fast and it'll look really cool. So stick with me for the next video. I hope you learned a lot today. Thanks for watching.